On college campuses, communities like Bloomington and West Lafayette now just weeks away from thousands of students coming back to campus. And this is really a big challenge. How do you do this safely right in the middle of a pandemic? Dustin Grove tells us what's being done now on both campuses and why there's one city council member that says, frankly, he's losing, losing sleep over this. At Purdue University, rolling out the welcome mat of a different kind. Ever think this is how you'd be welcoming students back? <laughs> Signs across campus reminding you to wash your hands, keep your distance, and wear a mask. It's, it's been crazy. Junior CJ Patel says for him, it's not inconvenient, it's a responsibility. You gotta do your part. But will others think the same? In less than three weeks, nearly 40,000 students will begin fall classes, and West Lafayette Council member Nick DeBoer is concerned. My biggest fear is the fact that young people tend to be asymptomatic and that young people want to get together. They want to enjoy their life. And I think that they're going to, especially off campus. Purdue is requiring all incoming students be tested before coming to campus. But DeBoer says he thinks they should be tested after they're here too, and not just those with symptoms. I can see a widespread outbreak occurring and us not knowing about it until it's far too late. I'm cautiously optimistic. Mayor John Dennis says the city and Purdue have worked together for months preparing for fall. A citywide mask mandate took place even before the state. Social distancing guidelines are in place across campus and dining halls are carry out only. Most importantly, he says. We are putting our trust in the students that when they come back, they're going to be respectful of themselves where they live, their population, and abide by the rules. Are you prepared to shut down bars if necessary? We've actually had conversations about that. So far, though, that's not in the plan. C.J. Patel says he plans on being part of the solution, not the problem. When the semester starts and people start moving in, I'm going to have to have conversations with people, like, you know, reminding them, you know, we're here and everyone's looking at us. we got to make sure that... We set a good example for everyone. And of course, university leaders, city officials, and everybody who lives in these college towns hope those students will listen. Classes start here at Purdue August 24th. As for testing, a Purdue spokesperson told us today in a statement official to 13 News, quote, we continue to follow CDC and Indiana State Department of Health guidelines in our ongoing testing protocol. We have all the details of that testing policy posted for you on our website. If you'd like to check it out, that's at WTHR.com.